Yo, what's going on everybody? TK Gaming and I'm back here with another Ultimate Team gameplay. We are starting the season with one win and one loss and uh, we are excited to get into this gameplay. So, a brand new season is starting. That means there's new opportunities, like I said, for more players to step up. And it's an opportunity to get in the playoffs and make an impact. But right here, our defense is making a huge impact. And this guy's got Dree Archer. I think this is the last two games that we've gone up against. A player that's got Dree Archer. And Dree Archer, obviously, if he gets in the open space with that 90 whatever speed something like that that's ridiculous speed he's gonna do some work so we're definitely gonna have to contain him so looking at his team he's got a bunch of legends as you guys saw when they were comparing our teams they got john elway and he's got mike wallace that's right here he's gonna pick up the first down and more 30 yard gain right there and he's also got one other player that if you guys seen that he went back to back plays on is mr burchard pyramid we're going to have to be contained that speed because if it gets in an open space, it's an automatic touchdown. Just like I do with Bashard Pyramid all the time. And something Fletcher Cox did right there was deflect that ball out. And so that brings up a third and ten. He's going out to the screen pass. Like I said, we got to contain Dre Archer. And we just barely do so as he picks up nine yards. And a fourth and one. We stop him. We knew what was coming. It was gonna be either going to be a QB sneak or it's going to be a full back dive or something like that so we contain him in our first possession on offense Burchard Pyramid is making the impact like he has been doing in the, all the games this season and I love playing with Burchard Pyramid especially Joe Flacco and Burchard Pyramid there's nothing like that connection Johnny Mantel just did not do the job but that brings up a third and goal as you guys can see why looked wide open but Joe Flacco decided to fumble we were lucky we got the ball back and got us three points i was gonna go for it because i already said i almost already fumbled the ball so might as well take the three points and we might as well play better defense on Bashar pyramid than we are right now as he's getting wide open and he's going down to the 46 yard line and right here Devin mccordy is just there as he's trying to find michael wallace in the back of the end zone my Devin mccordy's been coming up huge for us in the last couple of games and right here our defense is not playing as good like I said, they're not playing very good, and we're losing. We could lose a lot of games because of this, and right here, Mike Wallace has to show off on our defense and score a touchdown. But that's the first touchdown of the game for their team. And look at the play of the year. Joe Flacco is going to find Antonio Gates. Antonio Gates is going to bring up two tackles, two players, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a touchdown. That could be, in my opinion, one of the best plays I've ever seen. But we still got time to play with. He's got time to play with in this half. As right there, he's showing how much time he's got. And that brings up a first down and more. So here. He does the shuffle pass out to Dre Archer, and Dre Archer is looking down the field, hit us with spin moves, juke moves, all the things that he does, and this is where the play he messed up. He should have kicked the field goal, tied the game up before halftime, but he decided to go for it and just did not get the feet in bounds, Mike Wallace. So, like I said, he got ball first, so that means we get ball after half, something I like to do a lot, and on fourth and six, I decided to go for it, and we came up clutch. Brennan Marshall hasn't got a lot of touches lately. Might replace him, but I still like Brennan Marshall. Anyways, because I keep going out to Deion Lewis out of the backside. Um, and I also keep going to Bashar Pyramid. But if you guys have any wide receivers that you guys want me to get, make sure to tell me I'm interested in that Odell Beckham Jr. So, going out to Bashar Pyramid on second and 30. And he's going to pick us up 10 yards. But we still got so many more yards to pick up. That brings up a third and 20. Joe Flacco is going out to Deion Lewis. Deion Lewis hitting us with a spin move. And he's getting us in field goal position for 10 yards. So, well, consistency on offense isn't the best. But our kicker, we're lucky that our kicker keeps kicking us these field goals. And getting us on the scoreboard. As right here, Dre Archer is getting his team on the scoreboard. As he's going to wind down all the way to the end zone for another Dre Archer touchdown. I decided why not take the chances and throw this ball deep in Bashard Pyramid. Like I always do, I go to Bashard Pyramid when I need a catch. 
because every time he comes up clutch and he gets me that catch it on the run right here Joe Flacco said he showed he couldn't throw the ball on the run and third down and 10 Joe Flacco looking looking I see B B looks wide open but I'm using my playmaker and if you guys haven't seen the video on how to use playmaker make sure to look it up and Peyton is getting into the end and that's a 70 overall that's no legend the legend one that is the 70 overall award that you get in Mutt. So, another touchdown on the board. Back and back game right here. And he's going out to Bashar Pim. We just up Bashar Pim. And he's down with a injury right there. So, second down and seven. You know who he's going to in the end zone. And we are taking him out. Mr. Archer has 100 rushing yards and a touchdown. So, you know who he's going back to. And Dre Archer is just going to keep getting him these touchdowns in the end zone. He might not just do it in open space. He can get the ball in the end zone as much as he can. And right here, Brandon Marshall showing that he can get the spin move effectively. And he's going to pick us up the first down. So, another first down and goal. And I'm using that playmaker. I'm using that playmaker. My boy Douglas is going to get into the back of the end zone. Get the two feet in bounce. And Joe Flacco's got yet another touchdown. So, another great game of Mutt. And that brings up a fourth down and 10. And what a great sack. And he's going for it on fourth down and 21. John Elway looking down the field. And he's going to find a wide open receiver. And it was probably the best idea that he went for it on that fourth down. Because we only got some time to play with. 15 seconds left to play in this game. And we got one person. Burchard Perryman. Someone who I'm going to go to as much as I can. Throwing it deep. Can he get the catch? Yes, he can. And that's right when we call our time out. So, we're going to overtime. 29-29. You know who he's going to. He's going to Dre Archer. Every play, every down. It and on the next play of the game, Dre Archer's getting a sweet pass and that speed is too much to handle. And they're walking off for a touchdown. A heartbreaking loss here. But we played a great game. And so you gotta give him credit where credit is due. We played a great game also. I might have to pick myself up a Dre Archer. If you guys think so too, make sure to drop that like. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys for everything. Until next time, it's been TK Gaming or Tommy. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.